Hey there, this is Mrs. Zonin, and I'm going to show you how to really narrow down your search terms and find some keywords in your topic that can really help you define what you're researching when you get in here to these EBSCO databases and you're doing your search term um, searches. So I've created this little guide for you, um, and it just kind of walks you through, you know, I've given you this example topic. Do video games increase violence in teens? So the first thing we have to do is look at this, this topic and pull out our keywords, which I've done for you here. We've got video games, violence, and teams, right? Teens, sorry. And so pretty much every other word in there is not going to be necessary to our search. So we would never just type in that whole question, all right? So then we have to kind of think through this, all right, because just those three things are not going to give us the search results that we need. So you need to think about, you know, how has language about that topic changed over time because the search terms may have some different wording, right? There could be synonyms. There could be, it could have been called something different. Um, how do the different groups describe this topic? So if you have a group of gamers, they might describe this differently than a group of people that are just writing, discussing, thinking about it. Um, and then, of course, your synonyms for any of these keywords. So along those lines, I came up with all of these different words that are synonyms or similar to my keywords. And you have to do the same thing. You need to write down all of the different words that um, are similar to this because you're going to have to look those up during your research. So instead of just violence, I also have aggression. I've got aggressive, aggressiveness, right? So we've got several different ways we can put aggressive. Um, and you need to look through all of those because in one paper, it may be called aggression. And in another paper, paper they may call it violence, right? So you need to think about the different ways that people are going to word that. Then I've also got shootings, attacks, gun violence, right? Because those are all different ways that we can um, you know, talk about that topic. I even thought about doing mass shootings, but then again, I thought, well, that's not just general violence, right? So think about different ways that you would phrase just the term violence. Um, and then as far as video games, we have video games, gaming, gamers, computer games, right? And there's probably more that I'm not thinking of, but these terms are going to help you get better results, right? And then um, as far as teens, we can do teen, teens, teenagers. There's different ways that we would say that. You could say adolescence. That might be another word that you would want to add, right? So, and then you've got the singular and the plural. That's another thing you need to think about is if you put adolescent and the only time they ever put it in their paper is with adolescence, then it's not going to show up. So you need to put both forms of the word in there. All right, so then um, there's some tricks that you can do to kind of help narrow down so you don't have to do so many searches. Remember, you always want to put phrases in quotation marks. Otherwise, it's going to look for those words singularly. So for video games, we need to make sure that those are in quotation marks. So it's looking for the phrase video games rather than just the word video or just the word games, which is going to give you a lot of unrelated results. Also remember to look at video game and not just video games, um, which kind of leads me to this next trick that you can do. Notice how I put teen and then an asterisk. An asterisk means it can end in any kind of different way, but it has to start with teen. And your asterisk can actually go at the beginning of a word or the end of a word, and it means the same thing. So asterisk means it has to have this beginning, but it can end, the word can end in different ways, right? So teen would work for teens, it would work for teenagers, it, you know, it gives you all the versions of that word. And then right here is an example of what you would want to do when you're putting this in to your search term. You don't need the article to say aggression and violence as long as it has one of those words, right, along with the video games. So you could put in all of these words and just make sure you put in or. So you could put violence or aggression or aggressive or aggressiveness, right? And so you can have all of those in one bar right here. And then so you would have video games, you would have teen, and then you would have aggression or violence or aggressiveness and all of those things, right? So think about some different ways that you would 
put those search terms. And then here's an example of why you can't just throw a question in there like a lot of you are used to doing in Google, which again, in Google even, it's not gonna give you the same as best results that you could get. So how movies influence teenagers' behavior, no results are found because the, the article might not have every single one of these words, they might phrase it differently, right? So then here's an example, movies, we take out influence because we don't necessarily need that. And then we say teenagers or young adults. And like we said before, there's other words we could put there. Um, and young adults is another word I didn't think of earlier, but we would definitely want to add a word like that. And then we have and behavior. So now we see how movies are affecting teenagers' behavior. And we don't have to put in the whole phrase. So you want to get rid of these verb words. Make sure you're not like searching like you know, response or whatever, influence or anything like that. Take out those verbs. You're looking for whatever these, these nouns are um, so that you can focus on exactly what your topic is. And then I've included a link down here that um, gives you a little bit more extra uh, help on this topic. So when you click on this, it'll take you um, to this page. Nope, not that one, sorry. It'll take you here and it's got several different um, little searches that you can do on this topic and it gives you examples. I love this example down here. You can click through and see if you've only got one search bar, how would you put it in? Um, and then some typical limiters that you might use as you're you know, going through your research. So there's a website there to kind of help you out and then they have even more tutorials on this topic and other topics that are gonna go along with your research. So hopefully that kind of helps you. Um, but that big thing right here is, is thinking about different ways that people are going to describe this. Even just putting a word into a plural form is going to change your search results. So think of all the different ways that you can word those different keywords um, so that you can get better results. Because if you're not getting results, you're probably just not wording things correctly or you're not thinking about other ways to put um, that topic into words for your research. So hopefully this kind of helps you guys out. And you know, as always, let me know if you have any questions and I'm here to help you. Have a good one, guys.